I love cooking lamb because it's an ingredient that it's not, I would say, conventional. First of all, I try to reverse some of the best American lamb. To me, it's definitely very flavorful. The marbling is exquisite, the way they raise it, the practices. It's definitely something I feel good about putting on the menu. You know, growing up in Napa, definitely taking advantage of the bounty, the terroir that we have here. Respecting the farmers and the ranchers and, and enhancing that into a, a tasting menu that it's seasonal and it has technique from Europe, but a lot of the flavors from Northern California. So I take rind lamb tongue, then it's grilled over a Japanese charcoal. It's almost like you're sitting outside in, in a campfire. Get those familiar, rustic flavors. After the lamb is grilled, we take frisee, pickled red onions, these sweet and sour summer plums, bring it together this honey balsamic that is sweet and also acidic. Over the top, we have these uh, kona almonds that are lightly toasted to give it a little bit more texture to the salad. And then as a refresher, you have these garden mint and basil to pair it well with this rustic charred lamb tongue. So a tetela is similar to quesadilla or empanada. Additionally, the tetela would be made with this Mexican chorizo, but I wanted to pair with uh, the American lamb. And here you have the shoulder that is ground, roasted with garlic, onions, casavetrona olives, and raisins. It sits in a bed of this acoyote black beans. And then there's this bright acidic tomatillo sauce. And over the top, there's this flowering watercress with micro cilantro. When you bite into the tetela, it has this sweet and sour note to it. You have the crunch of the bright sauce that is creamy because of the avocados, and, and you get those cilantro and flour and watercress that are spicy right at the end. So lamb is so versatile to use, even as a filling for a classic agnolotti. So I make my dough, I flatten it out, then I fill the agnolotti with the braised breast and the neck. I love using American lamb because of the fat that it has in between the layers. So after cooking the pasta, quickly in salted water, just to it's al dente. I prepare a simple pan sauce that has this chicken stock, tiny bit of butter, California corn, spinach. So I take the agnolotti out of the water and toss it into this pan sauce, finish it off with grated pecorino to add this salty, briny flavor to the pasta. So lamb works extremely well with Italian dishes because of its rich flavor and versatility. And it's a great way to use these less utilized cuts, yet they're so flavorful. So for the main star of the show, we have this amazing grilled American lamb loin. In this case, I wanted to really highlight the lamb loin, season it with just salt and grilled over the embers. So the lamb loin is very tender. It's got a lot of marble into it. It's very flavorful. And I wanted to just lightly grill it to highlight the true essence of this American lamb loin. To utilize every bit of the fat, we render the fat into this almost clarified butter I slice the lamb and then I brush it with that same fat. So to pair with the lamb, take wheat berries from Sonoma, cooked risotto style, tiny bit of onions, garlic, lamb stock, and truffle butter. I garnish this dish with a dollop of heirloom tomato ruri, Oregon chanterelles, sun gold tomatoes that are found over the mountain of the Napa Valley. I pour this lamb border lace table side, which is a great conclusion to my tasting menu. So our guests here at the Four Seasons are adventurous diners who love to try new things. So American lamb is a perfect addition to any of my menus. 